Shatter resistant, lightweight, rigid plastic containers are the choice for so many items delivered to today's grocery stores for in store use. Deli container, frosting buckets, floral buckets, pharmacy bottles. But when they're empty, what then? The smart answer is bailing grocery rigid plastics. Just 100 stores could easily result in over $100,000 in new revenue. A new study shows that grocery store chains with 100 stores can generate 200 tons of valuable rigid plastics in a year's time. There are four options to handle these plastics. Pay to landfill it, about $50,000 a year in hauling and disposal fees. Option two, recycle them in a single stream with other recyclables. Here you can break even. Option three, stack and deliver them for an estimated net plus of $82,000 a year for 100 stores. But the best option for grocery rigid plastics recycling is horizontal bailing. Economies of scale really kick in. APR estimates the return from 100 stores or 200 tons of rigid plastics is nearly $120,000 annually. A valuable resource. Publix started bailing store-generated rigid plastics many years ago. With over 1,100 stores, they recycle tons of plastics a week. Horizontal bailing densifies rigid plastics, reducing bulk and hauling and disposal fees while optimizing efficiencies. The whole thing for me is it is just the right thing to do. And if you make it easy and simple for your associates, they're going to want to participate. Everybody feels good when you're doing the right thing. No one recycling system fits all store operations. But here are some tips. Rigid plastics, numbers twos and fives, are collected and delivered to a centralized return center. That what a recycler wants is they want all of the same type of plastic. If they could get everything separated, all the polypropylene together, all the HDP together. But you know, when you first start off, you're not going to have all of those things separate. You know, so the next thing that uh, a recycler is looking for is, can you give me weight? Can I get the weight up? Can we get the transportation cost down? The rigid plastics are fed into a horizontal baler. A bulky mass, seven feet tall, four feet wide, and 50 feet long gets compressed into one high density bale. A hundred stores can generate about one tractor trailer load a month of baled rigid plastics. 400 stores can mean about one truckload a week. How many stores do you have? As we have grown, we've just created processes that are scalable. So what we've learned is just the more you do, the more efficient you can become. Another advantage, baling same resins but different sizes can also help stabilize the bale. We have buckets that, uh, you know, boiled eggs come in for our deli plant and they're a large bucket. Behind that, we can start to run uh, stock bottles and sandy wipes. You could end up with you know, some deli buckets on one side, some floral buckets on the other side, and then you can see your smaller recyclables that typically you wouldn't do in a horizontal baler because they would just fall apart. When you do that and you put them in the middle, but it allows you to maximize your labor and the efficiency of your horizontal baler. On the reclaimer's side, many APR members welcome grocery rigids. What you see come in in your back room every day, probably considering it trash, it's certainly a treasure to us. Those materials could have the opportunity to come to Troy, Alabama, be recycled. Uh, the resin would be sold back into making high quality packaging and goods that quite possibly could end up on your store shelves within a month's time. Bailing is the ultimate goal. If a grocer wants to get revenue to complement traditional revenues received from bailing cardboard and film, then bailing rigids is worth doing. To learn more about bailing rigid plastics, visit RecycleGroceryPlastics.org.